Question 4 is under waves. And the question reads, define the wavelength. Okay, define the wavelength. So you can say, wavelength is the distance or is the minimum distance minimum is the minimum distance at which a wave a wave repeats itself look at this so after, this is half so this is where it is repeating this wave is repeating itself so this is the wavelength wave, wavelength from here up to here this is one okay one uh, wave length so this distance from here up to here is one from here from the top here from the crest up to the other tr crest that is the, the wavelength another question I think um, it's on the same. Uh, so they're saying state state the wavelength state the wavelength in figure of the wave in figure B B four point one here. So, so this is this is the highest point. The wavelength. This is the wavelength. Okay. Wave what? Wavelength. The symbol is a lambda. Okay, like this. This is the crest. This is the crest. The highest point of a wave. The lowest point of the wave is known as the trough. Okay, like this. And this is the crest. Like this crest trough here. Now. We are asked to to simply calculate. Okay, state the wavelength of the wave in figure four point uh, four point um, four point one. Okay, now according to this, um, sorry, from here up to here is one wave. Okay. I mean, it's half, not one wave. I'm sorry. Uh, this, I mean, this. It is one wave from here up to here. But what I'm trying to say is, this, the form is a shape like this. From here, this half and this half, ten to up to this point. This is half of. This is twelve point five, which is just two point five. Even here, it is two point five. Okay, so 2.5 plus 2.5, it forms this shape. Okay, half of the wave, which is 5. Okay, 10 to, 10 to, what is this? 10, 5 to 10, it is 5. All right, so what you can just simply say, you can, you can subtract 12.5 here minus, what is this? 2.5 we are going to get 10 okay we're going to get what we're going to get 10 all right it's just it's as simple as that now now we can say we can say since look at this you can even say this from here up to here it is 10 this is a complete wave just without even subtracting Calculating this is from 0, 5, 10. This is a complete wave you can see. So this is 10 centimeters. So you can just start it here. 10 what? 10 centimeters. Okay, without even wasting much of the time. You can say 10 centimeters. And the next question is what is the amplitude of the wave? What is the amplitude of the wave in figure? In figure what? In figure 4.1 look at this the amplitude 
this is the distance, the displacement, okay? The displacement from this resting position, this position, this line here. So this is 10. This is also 10. Now let's we get the positive value. So we're going to say 10, the unit is in centimeters. So even here, we're going to say 10 what? 10 centimeters. All right. Uh, the second question D, if the waves travel along the string at 0 0.5 meters per second, calculate the period of the wavelength of the waves in figure B4.1. Uh, B Three marks. This is simple. Now, look at this. We are asked to calculate what the period. So, we can say uh, the symbol for period is capital T is equals to time taken over total number of waves here. Okay. Then, okay. So, check, check this. Look at this formula. Period is equals to time taken over number of waves. But there is another formula we can use, which is uh, period is equals to 1 over uh, frequency. Okay. 1 over frequency. Now, which one are we going to use? Check this out. We are given we are given speed here, so we can use this formula. Speed is equals to frequency times what wavelength. Let's calculate uh, since we know wavelength and speed, we can calculate what frequency. Now, uh, freq wavelength. Network length, I mean velocity you are given here is 0 point, 0 0.5 meters per watt per second is equals to frequency we don't know, but the, the, wave, well, the, the wavelength is 10. Now, since this one is in meters, we need to change this 10 to, uh, to meters. We, 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 by, by simply dividing this by what? 100. Okay, we divide by 100. So in other words, here you have 10 over 100. Okay, of which this 0 and this 0 can cancel. You have 1 over what? 1 over 10. Now let's make it simple. This idea of 0 0.5, let's just get 0 0.5. And so 0 0.5 is equals to frequency times 1 is frequency over what 10 cross multiply frequency is equals to 0 0.5 times 10 is just half of 10 which is just the 5 5 watt hence okay these are the units for uh, this the units for frequency now that we've found frequency we can use this formula to find period okay 1 over frequency which is what 5 all right, 5v, 5 hence. Now, when you divide here, what are we going to... Okay, so 1 into 5 is 0. 1 over 1 into 10 is say, 2. So 0 0.2 seconds. So here you can just write 0 0.2 seconds. That is the period. The period. All right, thank you so much. So remember, the formula to use here depends on, depends inter entirely depends on the um, the data that we are given. Okay. Let's proceed. Let's go to the question to question five. Okay. So question B five. The first question is saying, what type of energy is in an infrared wave? Okay, so the type of energy here in the in the infrared um, wave it is called the heat energy. Okay, heat energy. Then the second question is saying give the range of frequency or audi frequencies audible to the human ear. A frequency audible to the human ear is twenty hertz. Okay. 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Okay. 
This 20,000 hens can also be written as 20 kilo hens. Okay? So, the question you see, he's saying, def define an echo. Now, an echo is the bouncing back of sound. So, an echo is the bouncing, the bouncing back of sound or reflected, reflected sound. All right. Then question D. Question D is saying. A plane sends an ultrasonic sound down the ground and receives the echo after 4.8 seconds. How high, how high is the plane above the ground? Take velocity of the sound in air as 340 meters per, per second. Okay. So, what I'm going to do to do here, CC is an echo here, is an echo the bouncing back of sound. So the formula that we're going to use is speed is equals to um, distance covered now going to and fro. Okay, to and fro. So it is twice. So distance over time what time taken. Now, we are given, speed we are given here. So let's substitute what we are given. Speed we are given as, as, um, what is that one? Speed we are given as 340. 300, 340 is equal to 2 times D for distance. Then time taken is what? Time taken is so the time taken is 4.8 seconds when you cross multiply here you're going to say over one so you're going to say 2d is equals to 340 340 multiplied by 4.8 so divided by 2 divided by 2 then these two and these two cancel therefore Distance is equals to, let me punch this on the calculator. Okay, so when you use a calculator, uh, 340, 340 times 4.8, okay, divided by 2, is giving me 816, 816, 816 what? So this is this is distance. So it is 816 meters. Okay, so that is the answer. 816, 816 meters. All right. Let's proceed. The last question on question five is saying, give one way in which sound pollution can be minimized. Sound pollution can be what? Can be minimized. Okay, so one ways of minimizing sound pollution, um, you can say using a soundproof. Okay, so in 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 rooms, okay, or in houses or buildings. Okay, then you have 